it going guys? So today I got a very special video. Uh, I got my boy Ollie teaching us how to bench today. The kid benches 400 plus pounds at 20 years old. So I hope this video is informational for you guys and it helps you out. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so Ollie, can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Omar Gutierrez. Uh, 20 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so, uh, when did you first start powerlifting? I started powerlifting not even a year actually. I uh, I first started off as a bodybuilder for three years. Just recently I turned into a powerlifter, which is probably rough around to say seven eight months. When was your first meeting? Uh, February six, I believe. At Breakhouse Gym. Okay, yeah, that's Okay, yeah, so um, when was the first time you made two plates? Two plates? On the bench. On the bench. <laughs> Ooh, roughly, I say roughly around after high school. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so after high school. So that was so that's probably about three, three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. Yeah. And then, so how did you progress from two plates to three plates? Uh, accessories, man. Accessories. Accessories. Build, it's like building that foundation, you know what I mean? Like, I would do a lot of chest. Well, when I, say, let's say when I started benching, I would only work out chest, tricep, shoulders. And, uh, exactly, yes. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Hard person. So it's like a lot of triceps and shoulders. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then, what you told you were telling me you did uh, small up so like, how did that volume teach you to get into the people? Uh, I mean, well, do a small up junior, I was doing the exact same thing still as bodybuilding, like a bodybuilding bench press, I guess you say. No technique, exactly. Flat on the bench, you know. Just straight muscle. Exactly. Power. Exactly. I like I would do like supersets or whatever. But uh I mean you too. That's how I got my YouTube. 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 Just too. Yeah, playing around. Big for sure, playing around. Cause my bench is little definitely unique, you know what I guess. Because my grip is pretty pretty close. I mean it's more like people's close grip. Where people will go this way, you know, just to get that smaller range of motion. But I mean, yeah, it's all about finding your form. Okay. Yeah. And then, not too long ago, we did four plates. Yes. So when was the first time you did four plates? Four plates was uh, after me. So My uh, after, after February sixth, so like February. February. A little bit before March. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's not too long ago. And then, what's your PR now on the? Uh, four fifteen. Yeah. Touch and go. Oof. So what are you aiming for now? Are you going for a world record? Uh, well, the rec world record right now is 445. I'm trying to hit 435 in yeah. June. Next, Next competition. But uh, that's just a goal. <laughs> hey, all right, so what are you going to do today? Are you going to teach us how to bench today? Yes. Show us the bench. Okay, so first thing we're going to do in the bench, we got to get our wrist wraps first. I see a lot of people benching first, or they would just wear it as an accessory. So, Henry? <laughs> Okay, so. so okay first, put on your thumb. Okay. So what you want to do is like tuck it all the way, all the way up, all the way up here. So like a little bit past the wrist, right? Exactly. So yeah. you're going more into the palm now. Exactly. Okay. So are we making a fist or are our hands are open? Ah, uh, it can be open. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Just keep wrapping it. Okay, so now at this point, your hand should be like making this type of view, I guess you say, over right here. That is the proper way. I see a lot of people just do this as an accessory, you know? It's just like flat. You, know? you can open your hand exactly. like freely and it's not. Exactly. It's just like an accessory, so. Okay, so the first, step. first step is your feet placement. So this feet placement is pretty, it goes by how you feel. Preferably you want your feet to be like parallel to where your ass is. If you were to just like do a 90 degree like this, or your ass is on the bench like 90 degrees, ideally you won't get the best leg drive. So for me my feet placement is like right over here. So exactly, so if you come closer, it's like where his legs or his heels are like perpendicular or higher level to his There you go. Okay, 
you know, second to be the arc. The arc where you want to place your upper back. You want to tuck it in, tuck it into the bench. See now it's arc. Just in the video. Okay, so. Third one would be the placement where your grip wants to be on the bar. See me, I go pretty close. I go where thumb to the <coughs> end of the knurl. And that's my grip. A lot of people use this as a close grip. I mean, I used to do this where it's like pinky on the ring. Never really worked for me just because I would always have shoulder issues or whatever. So when I did this, I felt like I could get my upper back in, like my lats in. Everything's tight. Everything's super tight. Since I have longer arms, I go a little wider. Okay, let's do that turn. Alright, so now, this is the part where I see a lot of people, a lot of people mess up on it. So it's like when you're bringing the bar down for like a negative, you want to kind of like tuck in your lats, like just tuck it in, tuck it in right here. Right now, your tricep should be super tight, your lats should be tight, your elbow should be, in, I guess you said tight too, but ideally everything here, here should be tight. So if you're in a press up, really, Okay, well, that's really fast. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Okay, up. You still want to tuck in your elbows. I see a lot of people flare up. And when they flare up, they're just muscling. No technique, technique's gone. Whatever. When you do that, it's more of chest and tricep. You want to actually use that back tightness to, as a rebound to get off your chest. Same with your legs. You want to like hip thrust off the bench also. <laughs> Okay, so Ali, what kind of accessory work will help you with, with bench? Okay, accessory work. I'll give you three top ones that I prefer. So one is close grip. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone knows about close grip bench. So, not really much to show here, but yeah, close grip bench. And so second one would be OHP. Strict OHP. Okay. Uh, sometimes seated, seated military presses, so like OHP too, but yep. it's more of, I guess you say, building your shoulders all the way up here, mm -hmm. practicing. Uh, third one, incline bench press. <laughs> so what, what I do here, I know a lot of people do it to build muscle on your upper chest. Yep. I did do it, ideally, like I said, when I was doing bodybuilding, but now I switch over to powerlifting. I use it as a... I guess accessory that would help me actually bench. Cool. So like what would I do is practice my leg drive on the incline bench. I know a lot of people don't do it. Yep. So let me hear you. Let's give you an example. So it's like the same thing as bench press, flat bench press. I would like... Like your ass touching the bench and hip thrust up. Practicing like the flat, uh, flat <laughs> bench press or like. Yeah. So three three top tips for for benching for you. Three top tips. Yeah, like how you how we went through it. Okay, so wrist wraps. Cause that's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> okay. Uh, leg drive. Yep. And tucking your elbows. Always tucking your elbows. Okay. So those top three. And then your accessory work will just be kind of incorporating that after. What kind of volume would that be like for, for, for accessory? Uh, well, like, yeah, accessory, yeah. Uh, okay, so for beginners, I would say do it as a, like, a lot of volume. So like three sets of ten. Yeah, three sets of ten. I mean, once you, once you get into a stage where you build a foundation with yourself, Yep. You want to uh, incorporate those words as in powerlifting now, you know what I mean? So like, now you'll do like three sets of three. So like my programming now says three sets of three of incline bench press, three sets of three for a close grip bench press. And like the other ones, like I was telling you, I pretty much don't do it no more. But like for people who are just starting, they exactly. would, it would just if be more starting, like, it would be more of like three sets of ten. Yeah, so same thing again. Yeah, so. exactly. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. Thanks, Ollie. All right, no problem. Yeah,